The ice from this week's winter storm melted away today. The danger certainly did not. That was the case for one tow truck driver who found himself just inches away from disaster. Yeah, watch closely. An ALDOT camera captures crews working a crash on I-10 near Virginia Street about 8 o'clock this morning. Check this out. You can see this tow truck driver securing a pickup on his tow truck when he looks up and wham. An SUV skidding on ice slams right into the tow truck, missing the driver literally just by inches and seconds. Local 15's Darwin Singleton tracked down that driver today and talked with him about this harrowing accident. Darwin, a lot of precautions in place to protect that guy, but this still happened. You know, it still shocks me every time I see that video. Just now, it did. It was all by the books, Greg. Mobile police officers were there. An ALDOT safety truck with flashing arrow prominently displayed. But that treacherous ice that we've been preaching about for the past few days, it was there too. And at least one driver apparently didn't notice it. Watch what happens. We've all heard that phrase, brush with death. Watch as tow truck driver John Burton experiences just that. I was right, behind, right here behind the truck, tying down on the other truck that I was picking up. Burton is an employee of Blackwell Towing, the company that routinely works the tricky stretch of Interstate 10 that leads into the George Wallace Tunnels in Mobile. But Thursday morning, that approach was even more treacherous because of patches of ice left by this weekend southern ice storm. That one hit ice. And Burton can show you what happens when drivers hit that ice. That one's hit, been on the ice on 65. That one was on ice. But while Burton was loading one of those wrecked vehicles onto his tow truck, he didn't notice this black Nissan hitting a patch of ice right behind him. Our recorders were rolling on this traffic camera and captured what happened next. And about that time, the DOT lady hollered out the window, watch out, and she started screaming. S screaming? Yeah, just... and I'm like, what? And then she turned around and I looked back and here comes that truck just sliding. Sliding, and I jumped this way to the passenger side of the truck. Burton had not seen just how uh, close he came to death seem that close? until now. It didn't seem that close, but wow. <laughs> it looked like I tried to shove it. Yeah. Where your hand comes out. You did. I mean, it looks like you, you actually, actually shoved it. Yeah. You don't remember touching it, though? No, I don't remember touching it. If you had not turned around and seen it. I probably would have been wedged between here and there, between the truck and the bed. A horrific fate. But once again, this was merely a brush with death, leaving John Burton to ponder the real thing and grateful for the chance to go home and relax from all of it. <laughs> I've had two days of this. Whoa. Well, I want to thank John Burton for sharing that with us in Blackwell Towing. And that's only part of the story. He's had an experience like this before. We're talking really? about that at 6 o'clock and also what he thinks about the driver. Well, that's just frightening. Oh. Just still to look at that video, I think it was hard. Yeah. All of us were cringing every time we yeah. saw it. We were all gathered around the monitors this morning after we saw it. And we still, we still can't believe it. When we look at it, we still cannot believe he escaped with only, it looked like maybe it sprained his hand. Driver in the car okay? Everybody Yeah, he got out and away. talked to him a little bit later. Probably we'll a little apologetic, I would imagine. A lot. We'll, <laughs> show that, we'll show that at 6 o'clock. All right, Darwin, thanks.